this is Total Resilience Yoga, which is really designed to kind of help us create new neural pathways in the brain, taking our negative thoughts and turning them a little more positive. I do want to also tell you that we'll be saying affirmations throughout. So I invite you to say them to yourself or out loud, repeating after me, whatever you choose. That's the other thing I wanna let you know is that this is your yoga, your practice, your way. So if you choose to just sit and do the breath work, fantastic, that's your yoga. Um, I do invite you to really kind of tune in to your body and really paying attention to what it's telling you. Only do what you and your body agree to do today. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and get started connecting with your breath, finding yourself in your space, on your chair. And we'll start just kind of orienting ourselves in our space. Kind of connecting to it, beginning to feel safe in your surroundings. Maybe notice the corners of the wall, maybe even four textures or four colors in your field of vision. You're just kind of noticing them. And then connecting with your breath, just breathing normally in through the nose and out. We're just connecting to that breath. As we're connecting and grounding, we're feeling literally supported by the earth beneath us. So feeling your toes and the bottoms of your feet connected to the carpet or the floor or the ground, whatever you are connecting to. Connect and notice that your sit bones are connected to the chair and it is supporting you. We're feeling grounded, breathing in and out. Take one more breath, breathe in and out. And then we're gonna bring our attention to the center of our body. And we're really just gonna pull that pelvic floor up and back. Think of it as like when you use those muscles to restrict urine flow, that's what you're going to use to pull your belly button kind of in and back towards the spine. We're just going to hold that and kind of heat up the core of our body. So breathing in and breathing out, really thinking about pulling that belly button to the spine, breathing in, breathing out, pulling it in, releasing all of the air. And you're gonna feel that really heat up and you can even visualize taking some of the negative stuff from today. And as you breathe in, sending it into the core, letting it burn up, so breathe in. And as you breathe out, breathe out love, joy, peace, happiness, so that you're feeling and releasing anything negative that you need to release. And now just connect with your breath, relaxing the center of the body. Breath is literally the fastest way to the here and now. It happens in the present moment. It doesn't happen in the future or in the past. It happens right now. It's a great way to kind of connect with yourself, bringing mind and body back into the here and now. Anytime you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, a little anxiety. So just connecting with your breath, a good practice to think about is just connecting with the, the feeling of the breath going in through the nostrils. You could even say, breathing in, I'm breathing in. And as you breathe out, I'm breathing out. Just a really good way to center yourself and be present. Now we're gonna move into a three part belly breath. This is gonna happen with big deep breath is what you're gonna take in. We're gonna expand the belly, bringing it up into the chest and then up into the head behind the eyes. And then as you breathe out, releasing it from the head through the chest and the belly, pulling that belly button to spine. So we're gonna do three of those. So breathing in, up into the chest, behind the eyes, 
And releasing from the head through the chest and pressing that belly button to the spine, releasing all of the air and breathe in again. Up through the chest, find the eyes, open heart and breathe out through the head, releasing all the air through your chest and through the belly. One more big belly breath. Up through the chest, behind the eyes, bright, bright eyes, open heart, open chest, letting it out, releasing the air. And now just connect with your breath. <clears throat> I am calm. I am grounded. I am happy. And now we're going to work on our neck just a little bit. We're going to do two neck exercises, maybe three. We're just going to see how how we're feeling. So the first one is just turning from left to right. We're gonna do this very slowly so that we don't pinch or tweak our necks. And the goal is to just slowly look to your right as you're breathing in. And as you breathe out, just let your neck return to center. And we're gonna do that turning to the left. So we're gonna breathe in. And releasing the air, turning back to center. Connect with your breath, breathe in and breathe out. Now we're gonna do that again to the right. And again, only turning as far as you can turn. So really, <clears throat> like I was saying, tune in to what your body's telling you, releasing your breath and do only what you and your body agree to do today. Maybe you can only look a quarter of the way. That's fantastic. Maybe you simply turn an inch and just do the breath work. Your yoga, your way. Breathing out, coming back to center. We're going to do one more of those, turning to the right. And stretching, just feeling the stretch. And breathing out, coming to center. As you breathe in, we're going to turn to the left again. And breathing out, coming back to center. And now I'm gonna show you a couple of options on this next one. We're basically gonna be taking our ear to our shoulder as gentle as you choose to do. So there are two ways you can do this. You can connect that right ear to the right shoulder with your hands in your lap, or you can go ahead and bring your hands down and give a little stretch. The goal is to keep your shoulders down as you stretch and not bring your shoulders up to your ears. We tend to want to like put our shoulders up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine down, but please know you can set your hands in your lap, palms up, palms down, arms out and open. And I'm going to roll my shoulders down and back. And then we're just going to breathe in and release as you go and stretch a little to the right. Just feeling the stretch, maybe taking a few breaths in, breathing in and breathing out. You should feel that stretch all along the left side. And breathing out. And we're going to do one more breath, reaching for the floor, breathing in and breathing out. And then slowly bring your neck back to center. You may even want to roll your shoulders back or forward or both. And we're going to go to the left. Again, you can go with your hands in your lap or you can take them, keeping your shoulders pressed down and back out to the side, reaching for the floor. And we're just bringing the left ear to the left shoulder as far as you can. Again, do only what you and your body agreed to do today. Maybe it's here, maybe it's further, maybe it's just barely. Whatever works for you, connecting with your breath and breathing out. We're gonna do a couple of breaths here. So breathing in, keeping your shoulders down from your ears, breathing out. You should feel that all along the right side. Breathing in and breathing out. And then just slowly let your neck come back up. Maybe even give it a wiggle. Let your shoulders roll forward or backwards. Connecting with your breath. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. And we're just gonna do some very small neck circles. So we're gonna go around three times on each side. As you breathe in, you're gonna breathe in, taking your head to the back, breathing out, circling around, continuing to breathe out. As you come down, breathe in and around, you're breathing in, now breathing out. And only go as, as big or as fast as you wanna go. If I'm going too fast for you, you can slow it down. We don't all have to arrive at the same time. Maybe even imagine that there's a bright light shooting out of the crown of your head and you're making a beautiful circle on the ceiling. Let your chin rest on your chest whenever you're ready. Connecting with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. This time as you breathe in, go ahead and take your head up to the left shoulder. As you breathe out, come around to the back and to the right. And as you go down, breathe in. And just continue to make that beautiful circle on the ceiling, connecting with your breath. And again, only making your circle as big as you choose to make it today. This will be the last one down and around, letting your chin rest on your chest, reconnecting with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. One more time in and out. And now I'm gonna invite you to just do a quick check-in with your body. Is it telling you anything? Any sensations that you might be noticing? Scan from your head to your toes and back up, just noticing if you're holding any tension, any tingling, any tightness. Maybe it's a feeling of warmth or a coolness. Just notice where you feel that. Connecting to your breath. Now we're gonna move into cat's cow. And basically how this works is we breathe in and as we breathe out, we just kind of let our back curl over, let your chin drop down to your chest. So I'm gonna turn this way so you can kind of see it from this side. So as you breathe out, it's cat curving the back, just letting everything curl up. And as you breathe in, chest is open, head is up, back is curving in. Only do what you and your body can do today, breathing out cat as you breathe in stretching inward curving the back head is up chest is open and breathing out curving the back stretching that back feeling a good stretch in your back through shoulders breathing in feeling the curve in the spine and back out One more time in and out. And then just connecting again with your breath, breathing in, breathing out. Now we're gonna do a little sun salutation. So we're gonna start with our hands in prayer, close to the heart. And we're just going to bring them down, palms are open, breathing in, looking up, bright eyes, and releasing our breath, coming back to prayer, connecting with your breath. This time as you breathe in, hands go down. And we're looking up and stretching, reaching up as far as you can. And as you breathe out, let your hands come back down. And connecting with your breath. This time as you breathe in, your hands go down. And you're stretching and reaching up. Big stretch. And this time as your hands come down, let them come about halfway as you've released your air and your breath. 
And I want you to imagine that you're holding on to a big, beautiful balloon or a sky lantern. And now I want you to imagine that he hands you a very big juicy marker and you're gonna write all over this balloon. We're gonna send a message out into the universe of what we wanna bring into our day, our evening, and maybe even our life. So take a second and just think about what is it you would like to bring into your life? Is it joy? Is it more happiness? Is it going to see someone, visit family, whatever it is, just write it on there. Maybe it's just a garden you're thinking about planting for the spring, whatever it is. What is it that you want to bring in to your life? Write on it. Maybe you just draw pictures, hearts and flowers and smiles of happiness and then throw your marker away, grab onto this balloon. We're going to send all of this request up into the universe asking for what we want because if we don't ask for it, we definitely aren't gonna get it. So this is us asking for what we want. We're gonna take a breath in, stretching that balloon up really high, stretch, reach for it. And as you release, keep your eyes on it. We're gonna let the air out, letting our hands relax back down into our lap, keeping your eyes on your balloon, your sky lantern, Sending up into the universe, whatever it is that you want to bring into your life, your world, your evening. Maybe it's a good night's sleep. Just letting it go. Asking for what we want. Slowly connecting back to your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. I am brave. I am grateful, connecting with your breath. I am compassionate. Connect one more time with your breath, breathe in and breathe out. And now I'm gonna invite you to just find a good spot so that you can do a little clockwork. We're gonna bring our hands up over our head Taking a breath in, we're gonna go ahead and interlock our fingers. You can do it like this, fingers pointing up. Gonna look up into the palm of your hands. If you need to look forward, that's fine too. Do whatever is most comfortable for you, your shoulders, your neck. I'm gonna look forward. We're gonna click a number off on the clock. We're gonna go to the right first. So we're gonna click one number over on the clock. We're doing a little side stretch. Breathing in, connecting with your breath. And as you breathe out, we're gonna click one more number over on the clock if you can. Do only what you, your body, your back, your shoulders agree to do today. Breathing out, we're gonna one more if you can. Nice side crunch, side stretch. And as you breathe in, come back to center, stretching, looking up. And as you breathe out, just go ahead and click one number off to the left. Breathing in and connecting with your breath. Feeling your sit bones connected to the chair. As you breathe out, click one more number over on the clock. Connecting with your breath, feeling that stretch on the right side this time. Breathing in and as you breathe out, one more number on the clock if you can. Sit bones are connected to the chair. And as you breathe in, come back up and release your arms back down. Roll your shoulders, connect with your breath, breathe in and breathe out. Now we're gonna go ahead and do eagle arms. So our arms are open, the palms are up, thumbs are back like you're trying to touch the wall with your thumbs. And as you come back in, you're gonna crisscross right arm over left arm and you're gonna try and bring your palms together. If you can't, Back of your hands together is just great. You're basically just crisscrossing and bringing that in. If you want a little better stretch, you can go ahead and bring your right leg over the top of your left leg. We're gonna take a breath in. And as you release your breath, let your shoulders just relax. Feel a bit of a stretch across the upper, upper shoulders, around the neck, and just continue to breathe in. And breathe out, feeling the stretch across your shoulders. 
One more breath in and out. And this time as you breathe in, we're going to open everything up, taking those palms are up, thumbs pointing towards the wall, trying to touch back there. This time as we come in, we're going to crisscross that left arm over the right arm. If you can, left leg over right leg. Again, only do what you and your body can do today. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel that stretch across the upper shoulders. It's a beautiful thing. Nice release. Breathing in and breathing out. Just connecting with your breath. One more time, breathing in and releasing. And as you breathe in, open up your arms, stretch big, open chest, open heart, and release, coming back to the center. Once again, connecting with your breath, breathe in and breathe out. Now we're gonna do a hip opener, hip stretch, because we do tend to carry a lot of stress anxiety, trauma in our hips and in our shoulders. So we've worked our upper body. Let's do a little hip stretch. You're gonna bring your ankle, right ankle up onto your left knee. You should already begin to feel that. I'll turn this way too so you can see. Up, and you're gonna feel that like through here and up through your outer thigh. And we're just sitting up straight and you should feel that pull and it shouldn't hurt. So if it hurts, back off of that. Yoga is like love. If it hurts, back away. We're gonna lean forward as you're connecting with your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. You should feel this in the hip and up through this muscle. Only go forward if it feels comfortable, if you feel any pull, tension, any pain at all, release and just come back up. And you're just, you're just looking for a little stretch, a gentle stretch here. Connecting with your breath, breathe in, and breathing out. And we're breathing in and out. Just breathe at your own pace. Feeling that stretch. If you can, lean a little more forward. Connecting to your breath. Feeling your sit bones connected to your chair. Your foot connected to the ground beneath it. And as you breathe in, go ahead and bring your feet back down to the ground. I'm just going to turn this way. So you can see me straight on this time. We're going to do the same thing on the left side so we get a good stretch for our left hip. And we're just putting the ankle up onto our right knee and just letting this leg relax. You're not pushing on it. We're not adding any extra pressure. We're just simply connecting with our breath. Ankle relax on our leg, breathing in, connecting with your breath. Just connect with your breath. You may even want to, as you breathe in, and exhale, lean a little bit forward, but only if you and your body agree to do that today. If you feel any pain, back off of that. Connecting with your breath. You should feel the stretch in your hip, hip flexors, your glutes maybe, right up in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Connecting with your breath and breathing out. Maybe one more tick forward, only if you can. If you're having any pain at all, just back off of that. Again, this isn't a competition. It's just about doing what you and your body can do today. And breathing in, coming back up, letting your left leg come back down to the floor, connecting with your breath. And I am gonna invite you now to check in with your body again. Are those same sensations there? You feel anything new, anything no longer there. We're just noticing it. Just connect with your breath, scan up and down your body. Just connecting for sensations. Maybe it feels cool or hot. Maybe it's tingly. Maybe you can actually feel it tighten or release. Connecting to your breath. 
And now we're going to go ahead and move into a warrior two position on the chair. So I'm going to invite you to come to the edge of your chair. Think about it like <clears throat> you're keeping one leg and your hip, your bottom on the chair. So this leg is going to come out behind you. And if it's too much, just do and do what's comfortable. If you need to keep your leg bent, fantastic. Bend it. If you can, take it out. Get yourself comfortable. Hold on to the back of the chair if you need to. The left leg is out as straight as you can get it. You should feel a good stretch. Your toes are pointing forward. Your right leg, your ankle is under your knee. This leg is fully supported by the chair. Your toes are facing forward. We're going to go into what your two, which is simply your arms are out. We're going to gaze out over your fingertips. We're going to connect with our breath. Breathe in and out. We're just going to hold this pose for about three breaths, breathing in and breathing out. Feeling supported, grounded, and connected. Breathing in, breathing out. Now I'm going to invite you to bring your right forearm down on your leg, taking your left arm up over your head, reaching, getting a good stretch, feeling that it's connecting with your breath for three breaths, breathing in, breathing out, holding that belly button to spine, always pulling that in, breathing in, breathing out, one more breath in, in, breathing out. And I'm going to invite you to come back to warrior two. And you could even go ahead and get a little stretch in, bringing your right arm up over your head, looking up into the palm of your hand or the eye of your elbow. If your neck is delicate or gives you any pain, do what you and your body choose to do. Connect with your breath. And breathe out, breathing in and breathing out. Connecting with your breath, getting that stretch in. We're gonna come back down. We're gonna slide that left leg in very slowly. Connecting with your breath. Let everything kind of settle back in. We're gonna move to the other side. Connect with your breath first, breathing in. And breathing out. Now I'm going to invite you to move into warrior pose facing to the left. So your left leg is fully supported and but fully supported by the chair. You're going to take your right leg out. Now you may notice one side is tighter than the other. My right side is always tighter than my left. Go ahead and get your leg out as straight as you can. Toes on your right foot are facing forward. Toes on your left foot are facing straight out in front of you. And we're gonna go ahead and go into warrior two, looking out over your fingertips, connecting with your breath, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in. I'm breathing out, connecting that belly button to the spine, breathe in. Feeling supported and grounded and connected, breathe out. Three breaths there. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down to our forearm on our upper leg. We're gonna bring this arm up overhead and just do a nice stretch here, breathing in, connecting with three breaths, stretching. But only to the point that feels good. You're really about releasing, not hurting yourself. Connect with your breath. Feeling grounded and supported. One more breath. And releasing. Now this time we're gonna come back into warrior two. We're gonna float that right arm down on top of the right leg. As you're looking up into the palm, or the eye of the elbow, whatever you and your neck choose to do today, connecting with your breath, breathe in. 
and out. Just breathing naturally, breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. And we're gonna let that arm, your neck float back down, bring your right leg back in, come to the center of your chair, connect with our breath, feeling grounded, supported, connecting with your sit bones to the chair, palms are, fa are facing down on your legs, and just relax. <clears throat> I'm going to invite you to feel fully supported, comfortable in your seat. We're going to do a body scan. This is a full body meditation, the body scan. We're just connecting with our breath. I want you to get really comfortable. I'm going to invite you to relax your chin down to your chest. Again, connecting with your breath, breathing in. You can close your eyes if you choose or just gaze down. Connecting with your breath as you breathe in and out. And now I want you to imagine that there is a beautiful bright light shining down on the crown of your head. And this bright light is gonna scan down over your body, filling your whole body with light and love and joy. Scanning down over your forehead, you can feel the warmth of the light, releasing, relaxing your brow. Continue to stay connected with your breath, just breathing naturally. As you breathe in, this light continues to scan down over your eyes, over your nose. Maybe you feel a tingling from the glow of the light. And it continues down over your lips and your jaw, letting it just release. Your tongue rests in your mouth. Now twist the breath, breathe in. This beautiful, warm, bright light shines down over your throat, down over your shoulders. Feel the joy filling in all the open spaces. The warm, beautiful light is glowing in your body. Connect with the joy. Scans down over your heart. Filling in all the open spaces around your heart with love and joy. And it continues to scan down over your arms, your forearms, to the tips of your fingers. They're now glowing with this beautiful light of love and joy. And now the light begins to scan down over your chest, releasing any tension you're holding. Continues to fill you with love and joy and this beautiful bright light down over your hips, your core, letting them release any tension that you may still be holding on to. Feel the breath moving in and out. The light continues to scan down over your thighs, releasing any stress any tension, filling in all the spaces with the love and the light and the joy down over your knees now, swirling in and around this beautiful bright light continues to scan down over your shins, around your ankles, the tops of your feet to the tips of your toes. And as you take this next breath in, big, deep breath in, imagine your whole body is glowing with this beautiful, bright light. The light of love and joy filling in your whole body from head to toe. And as you release this breath, releasing love and joy to all you know and those you don't. Breathing in. And I'm gonna invite you to complete the I am. I'm gonna say I am. And I want you to think about a message that maybe you need to remind your heart of tonight. Maybe there's something you need to tell yourself, remind yourself of. 
how beautiful you are, how strong you are, how resilient you are, how compassionate you are. Whatever that is, I'm going to say I am, and you're going to fill in that blank. I am, fill in that blank. What is it that you need to tell your heart today? Do that again. I am, and fill in that blank. Connecting with your breath. We're going to go one more time. I am strong. I am kind. I am loving. Now I invite you to take one big breath in. And as you release, just let your full body release any tension that it may still be holding on to. And now I begin again to wiggle your fingers and toes. Coming back into the present moment, connecting with your breath. And as you breathe in, go ahead and bring your head up very slowly and flutter your eyes open. And welcome back into this space here and now. I hope you found this calming and Hopefully you get a great night's sleep tonight. If you are going to sleep, if you are headed out for the day, have an amazing day. Thank you for being here. Be sure to pop over and visit CassieBurton.com. I have a podcast there. You can listen to some really great conversations. You can also pop over to the YouTube channel, Curiosity Junkie, and watch some really great interviews over there. I also have some meditations that are available on the website. So visit CassieBurton.com, like and subscribe to this channel. Love and hugs to all of you. Have a great day.